Hi there, I'm Jim Alexander, Creative Director at New Wave Learning. I wanted to introduce to you our series of vlogs on the topic of diversity and inclusion in the workplace. We have three great videos to share with you from interviews with three fantastic professionals from a variety of sectors who share their insights and experience on this important topic. We focused each conversation around two of the Deloitte's six traits of inclusive leadership. Here is just a flavour of the wonderful conversations we had. To see the full versions, head over to our YouTube channel. Enjoy. The only way you're actually really understanding what's going on is observing and listening um, and trying to seek to understand what might be different for that individual. And that's that's just the root of all kind of diversity and inclusion. We're in a position now where I think leaders are more accessible than they've ever been in our organisation because they've learned a different way of working. Mm -hmm. and, and leaders, I think, do have to work harder, I think, mm -hmm. to, to make sure that, that they are including people and they're not just defaulting to relationships that are easy and comfortable and real collaboration usually only happens when you do have that diversity because what you need is you need that spark of difference to kind of generate new ways of thinking and new ways of if we really want to truly collaborate with people it's it's recognizing that people will work at different paces um, and we'll have different needs in terms of what good looks like for them. Mm. And if you want the best outcome for the group, as opposed to necessarily just pushing through your own agenda, then again, it's about investing that time to, to think, actually, is everybody being heard? I think sometimes people can become disengaged because they are kind of oversaturated with information for two reasons so I think sometimes you can become disengaged because it's all a lot to take on on the, on the flip side being able to disengage because it doesn't directly affect you is also not going to move things forward because you're not going to be able to be part of the group of people or create the allyship that needs to affect change. And, and one way we're doing that at Clifford Chance is through our reverse mentoring scheme. And the scheme takes that traditional mentoring approach and reverses it. So a senior leader is mentored by a more junior colleague who from a diversity and inclusion perspective is different from them in some way. Someone's life can't be this kind of abstract concept that you don't really want to understand because building relationships and, and kind of sharing experiences with other people is, is how, how you kind of do get on in life. It's not just about understanding what's in our you know, visible circle. It's about being curious around what else is there that is hidden. Is that to not make assumptions, to not assume that because you like something in a particular way or you need this particular benefit or way of working to be in place because it suits you, not assuming that the majority of the workforce are going to want to need that as well. find a leader as the fountain of all knowledge somebody who knows everything always gets it right doesn't get it wrong and unfortunately that isn't life you know and that isn't business you know you know they we're working and living in such a volatile uncertain complex ambiguous world you don't always get it right and actually it is then owning up to when perhaps you got something wrong visibly showing that so then others demonstrate it to themselves and actually own up when they haven't got something right themselves so we're not contributing to the blame cultures that we see mm -hmm. and hear in so many organizations and industries these days time we've got to look at how are we breaking down those things that get in the way um, systematically looking at the way we bring people into the organisation, the way we structure teams, the way we choose to promote people around the organisation. Um, I think one of the main barriers to creating inclusive cultures is the recognition and the acceptance that it is everybody's job. 
Um, everybody has a role to play in diversity and inclusion. And that role never ceases because once you stop, you're not making any progress and it requires consistent effort. And I genuinely do believe that it's a privilege to be able to switch off and potentially ignore issues that are very real for individuals who are say black and ethnic minority, LGBT, have a disability or are female to name a few examples. Um, and I think that it's in recognizing that privilege that we don't all have the same equality of experience. Not putting barriers in front of ourselves and enabling ourselves to actually be true to the mission driven purpose. If you truly believe in diversity and the beauty that comes from difference, then that difference should never be a disadvantage. Mm -hmm.